Hey, what's happening guys? Today we're going to take a look at redrawing complex or poorly drawn schematics. Oftentimes you're going to see schematics like this that have been drawn when somebody traces out the actual connections in a circuit and then you're left to look at this and try and figure out how am I going to put this together in a way that makes sense. Well, it, it's really not that hard. And when we're dealing with DC circuits, that's the key here, DC circuits, the actual length or position of these connections don't matter at all. Now, when we get into AC circuits, they're quite important, but here it doesn't matter at all. So one of the first things we can start doing is just tracing the current. So let's uh, get a marker and start with that. So we're going to start at the positive terminal of the battery. And we'll draw some arrows. Showing us the direction the current is flowing. And when we get to the resistors, we're just going to mark them the positive and the negative side. So that we know what we're looking at. Right? Are you with me so far? We're going to mark this one as well. Plus, minus, and we'll continue drawing out the current path. Back to the negative terminal of the battery. So we've already worked it out a little bit here. And it becomes less intimidating as we do that. So let's grab another marker and kind of redraw what we just saw here. So we have our battery. R1. And R2. That's R1. That's R2, positive, negative, positive, negative. So that's what we've taken out of that so far. Now what we can do, remember what I told you, these wire lengths and positionings don't really mean anything. We can simply draw on our other loops. Did I make a mistake already? I did. That is supposed to be R3. So I'm looking here now. Okay, R2 is just right here. And R4 is right there like that. And, of course, our positive and negatives stay the same all the way around the circuit. So now we've taken this mess and made it into that much neater circuit drawing. And from here, we can use Ohm's Law, we can use Kirchhoff's Law. You know, say we know the value of those resistors, you know, say this is a... 9 volt, this is 1K, 1K, 10K, and 220 ohms. I mean, now we can solve that. Super simple. Just remember when you're dealing with DC circuits, the length and position of the wires aren't that important. You can take this and you can make it into that quite easily. So I hope this is something that helps you out today. If it did, give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all my patrons, and a big thanks to you right there in front of the uh, computer watching this video. I wouldn't be here without you. That's it. I'm out. Peace.